Hello everybody, sorry about that initial. Welcome to my channel, my name is Bobby. I am the emperor of the universe. I know what you're thinking. This dude's homeless, right? <laughs> Never bring attention to yourself in a negative. I am a nomad, I'm a gypsy. A little stressed at the moment apparently for all kinds of fun reasons. I need a massage so bad, I need a spa day. I mean, you would think I didn't need that kind of stuff, but. There's some inner spiritual battles going on that I'm dealing with that you can't even imagine. And it sucks. Because it's one thing to be strained to your energy in a positive when people need it. But then uh, at some point you got you to gotta close the tap and, regen and recharge right now. Like this morning I was like, what the hell, dude? I just woke up and I, sh and I slept. Well, again, super dehydrated. Magic is a pain in the ass. Harry Potter makes it look all glamorous, but oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Taxing, that's the word. I would love to talk about a few things today. I would love to talk about sex magic. Let's do, because I threw that out cheekily, cheekily, in my last video. But it's actually important because it exists and it and it works in a weird way when you masturbate about somebody excessively. Or you're pulling their energy and it, then that's basically kind of like the juju. That's the magic. So, yeah. In a nutshell, that's basic. In a nut. <clears throat> Take this serious, people. I know it's kind of it's kind of potty humor, but at the same time, yeah, don't do it. Just you know, if you're gonna touch yourself, think of. Think of a celebrity. Oh, they're all douchebags. Oh, fuck them. I don't know. Make up an imaginary lover. You'll never go wrong. They'll never, they'll never tell you you're stupid or ugly or fat or, you know, whatever. They'll always love you and they'll never disrespect you and always be there for you. I know. I'm just kidding. No. You want a real lover in reality, but let's just focus on yourself. And your energy, protecting your energy. Right now, I'm forced to protect my energy hard. I'm burning sage. Whew, it's tough, man. I'm, you know what I mean? It's, you know, I think what it was is it's like when, when I get drained energetically to help others, at the same time, it's like the dark feels that balance shift and it's like, attack. He's weak. Bastards. But I'm okay. By the way, speaking of bastards, I was, I can't, YouTube is blocking my comments. I can't read comments from people now. It used to be they blocked, I wouldn't even get comments. Now I get comments and I can't read them. This is what, I don't even go there. Yeah, so right now I got people liking my stuff and I got people liking comments I do on theirs. And yet I can't even read them. I can't, they're not even coming up on my, on my YouTube channel. So what the hell, right? Kicking me in the balls. And it's just getting old. But yeah. So I gotta figure this out. I gotta do some work. I gotta get some work. I gotta sell some paintings and, you know, do some more hustling. If I have to get a job, I'll get a job. Nine to five, babe. I'm cool with that. Just, like I said, I couldn't do the mass. And now that those are over, that's awesome. I still, still see people. But luckily, I just went by a couple of shops this morning, but they weren't open, and I wasn't going to hang out for an hour. I'll just come back, go back tomorrow. But help wanted, so galleries are cool. That would be good for my art. Maybe I can throw some art in there. We'll see. But I need a good night's sleep, so my battery's charged, and I'm positive, and I'm excited and ready to go and rocking it. And so... Was there something else I was going to talk about? Well, just sex magic, YouTube blocking me so I can't see my comments. Um, celebrities are just bizarre. I don't know, it's just, yeah, it's really, yeah, I don't know. I'll just leave it at that. It's just people are bizarre. But I love you. You're not bizarre. You're awesome. Oh, and I was going to mention one more thing. 
about the emperor and empress. It was an epiphany. It was an amazing point when I realized who I am and my power. And I also understand this, the, the mental conditioning to be a slave, to be a slave mentality where you look down and you say yes or no. I mean, not, I'm not talking about manners when you're trying to be a gentleman and a lady and make everybody comfortable. I'm talking about sub submission, to be in submissive to somebody else. Nobody should be submissive, but nobody should be like a bully either. But at the same time, like I said, I should have been trained to be a conqueror, not like in a bad way, but like to speak up for myself always. My sister, Deanna, is a badass. I'm, I mean, that she, yeah, if we had, we had, she would have made a badass like Celtic fucking warrior woman. You know what I mean? She would have been one, she would have easily been one of the leaders of the tribe. Like, you know how you have chiefs in tribes and usually, you know, women like Cleopatra was a badass, but I'm just saying that's basically what she would have been badass. Because she just, when she sees it, she automatically jumps on that shit. I'm, I'm the same way, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not as, she's freaking aggressive about that shit. Amazon woman, right? So that's important that we, you know, jump on shit when we see it. Bad stuff happens and we gotta speak out about it. Fight the power. Work together, you know, I don't know. Think happy thoughts. Oh yeah, duh, about the Emperor Empress thing. I'm not gonna harp too much on that, I don't want to. It's not necessary. If you know you're the Emperor and Empress, that's all I need to know, right? And just, and focus on the self-love, cause that's it. When you're in love with yourself, you are the Emperor and the Empress in your world. Because nobody is higher than you. Nobody's above you. Nobody can look down on you, period. End of story. That's why I did Emperor. That's why I chose Emperor of the Universe. Because I was thinking, next step, I'm not going to say God, that's just new. You know what I mean? But and I'm not like into the demigod, because that's kind of cheesy anyway. But I thought, you know, Emperor of the Universe, that's pretty all-encompassing, right? And that's how much I want to love myself. I'm still working on it, baby. And I, you know what I mean? I ain't complete. And I'm hoping that I find somebody that's going to love me and make that complete. I'm not even kidding. Spring is in the air, baby. <laughs> Just kidding. But, but yeah, more who doesn't want to be loved, right? Anyway. I, to speak it up, <laughs> I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. So I'm going to let you go and have a wonderful day. And yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Okay,